Hi there guys, Sam here, welcome back to another video, joining me just outside my Mark 7 Golf R to go through some really cool new images of a, yeah, a Golf 8R kind of collection, it's just like, yeah, it looks spectacular in this, um, as you can see from kind of like the thumb, thumbnail, I'm going to go through these images, thanks so much for, um, for the owner and a subscriber getting in touch with me and uh, yeah, sending this through and I'll go through it, share you my thoughts of what I think about it, you can join me back here for a bit of a, a, bit of a conclusion. So yeah, let's get straight into this one. So here we go then. So new collection day and here's <laughs> the lucky owner's new car. Now, I, I tried actually in last week's video just to show you a comparison of a Golf 8R in black with kind of like the black wheels, performance pack and some cool options just to give you an idea of what it was like. But it's actually quite hard to see one actually. They I mean, maybe it's not been as popular here in the UK, something I couldn't find online. But fortunately, yeah, massive thanks to the owner who's um, sent me this over Instagram and has been sent this by his um, VW dealer actually over in Switzerland. And yeah, it's it's pretty special. And I think, first of all, just one thing to note is you can really tell how kind of the gloss black areas of the Golf are, which I think always makes it that little bit more premium. Um, something I felt was missing kind of on my Fiesta ST, if I'm honest, the previous car I had before my Mark 7 Golf R. Um, you can still notice them, particularly when the car's nice and shiny. So that's really, really good. But yeah, let me know what you think of this kind of like a first initial image of it. And yeah, I'd be pretty happy. I mean, how much better does it look like without a front number plate as well? Um, yeah, I think it shows that the lines actually do work quite well with the car. And you don't see the blue LED light, which you get across the front because the car is off at that time. Moving on to sort of like a rear quarter shot. I think this is probably the best one that I've seen. I'll stand by that. Simply because Acroprovage exhaust, it does add to it. It works better with the black because you're kind of going for that stealth kind of look. Um, the black spoiler, even though it's well, it's pretty, it's a pretty big wing. Let's be honest, it doesn't like look too showy or too out there, which I quite like. And I think without it, I personally just it would just look like a normal Golf Eight. And I don't really think you want that when you're, you know, when you're spending this sort of money on the hatchback. Um, you want it to be a little bit more special. And um, yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Going into the interior, so this one I'll probably like um, scroll through the top and the bottom of this. Um, you've got the leather interior. It's nice. It obviously adds to kind of that premium feel of the car. You've got the standard invitation, which I've gone on about before in previous videos. And you actually get blue mats. Now I've seen these blue mats or blue around the outside before, just from just from other cars in other dealerships. And I guess that's trying to go into the R theme. And you can see sort of like um, bits that I didn't notice alongside the leather. It almost looks like faux carbon actually, just on the the side of that um, sort of support of it. And you can see sort of like the electric seat function and bits, but you can see the blue sort of like stitching and blue line. Little touches like that work for me. And you want that something special. That That's what I feel. The R badge on the wheel, you want those little signature touches that you can kind of find throughout the car. And I think it's quite nice that you have to kind of look for them. You know, it's not just there in your face. You kind of have to work for what you've what you've got, really. And yeah, there you go. There's the inside. So onto the wheels. So these are 19 inch wheels. I think the owner that actually has purchased this car was potentially thinking them down the line of maybe changing to silver. Um, yeah, I can see how that can work with the black, but the stealth look is great. And it's something that I think is probably not used enough. I think people kind of shy away a little bit from black cars just because of maybe they're a little bit more high maintenance. Maybe they show up a bit more scratches and, it might be a bit harder to clean. My first car was a black car, and yeah, I, I kind of get that. But when you do get it clean, when you do show it off, you know, they do look really, really special. And I generally do feel that these are the wheels to go for. The 18-inch wheels, I think they look a little bit more, yeah, like, like on a high-end, like R-line rather than a Golf R, that, that's where I'm coming from. Obviously you get the sort of like the drill disc brakes as well. Kind of reminds me of what like what was in the Club Sport S, even on the Mark 7. So you're kind of getting that more racy feel. They look they look cool. And the obviously the new R badge on the brake caliper shown there too. Moving through the all the the all important Acroprovage exhaust, which is such a popular yeah, the popularity of it is ridiculous. It's just about that name. But they do deliver. That's the thing. It's not just about the name. You know, it's a titanium system. A lot of 
work and engineering goes into this and you know it commands a high price tag you know three thousand one hundred pounds in the uk for this um just for the exhaust but from hearing sounds of it before and you know i've, I've done that on my channel as well it does add to the car and it adds to that character and from what i've kind of heard and from what i understand it doesn't seem like an acroprovage exhaust is just completely unusable like it's too drony or it's too too in your face you can quiet down a golf R, which i think is an important characteristic of it you kind of got almost like a gloss black diffuser around it which works great for me and yeah you can obviously see it in the um yeah in the great spotlight of the showroom there but let me know what you think first of all just on the look side of things do you think things look better than the other ones i know it's just these sort of the tips of it but i i think they look great and it's certainly something that if you can if you can option it if you can stomach the cost and it's not too bad go for it because it's it's something special just to have and it like i've like i've kind of been saying it's kind of that like extra special touch to the car which is quite a good option to have on a golf bar they didn't have to implement these when they you know they, they brought them out kind of as the mark 7.5 came out the facelift and they proved really popular even if they had a high price tag um and i can completely see why so yeah that's what they're looking on a, on a black golf R. so i thought i'd end it on sort of like a rear image here you see those acroprovage exhausts even better they don't look as chromey as i've kind of mentioned as obviously the standard exhaust pipes which i'm quite familiar with works better with the black because you're kind of you're trying to be subtle that's what i think this car is about so there's no chrome sort of highlighted on this car and i think that looks pretty good and you can see the R badge just about, and I think most importantly, I'm really interested to find out from the owner how they find it, how they how it drives, how their sort of early ownership is, and I'd love to feed that back to you guys on the channel, sort of as um as time goes on and you know they progress in their ownership of um the new car. But certainly on my channel, I think I've probably shown all the Golf 8 Rs, the different specifications, different colours. I mean, there's only three colours to choose from. And it's really hard to choose which one is the best one to go through. Um, I've got a video in the link above where I've kind of tried to discuss that a little bit better. But you kind of have to see it and you kind of have to judge it for yourself. Um, I think it's difficult to judge it because you've got to remember these images are as good as the car is ever really going to look. Let's just be blunt. So in the real world, can it kind of sustain that? That's where I feel like my limestone grey works quite well because it kind of hides dirt, it hides the odd little little like scuff or something like that if I was to have one. Um, and that works well for me in, in my sort of daily commute, to be honest. But let me know your thoughts. What do you think about this? Is this the best spec that you've seen? Um, I'm, you know, I'm massively jealous of the owner, you know, well done. It's, um, yeah, it's something that, you know, you can we work hard for. And these are kind of the rewards that you get. And I'm, yeah, I'm happy that um, I'm able to kind of show this to you lot and um, bring it to you here on the channel because there'll be plenty more to come as well. So yes, I hope you really enjoyed going through those images. I think that's probably one of the best ones that I've seen by far, just because of kind of like, um, yeah, I think the spoiler kind of works really well with it. Yeah, it makes you want to definitely get it as a sort of like a top spec car. Um, yeah, be good in the snow as well as we're kind of experiencing here in the UK. Um, yeah, really, yeah, really exciting to kind of go through. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments whether or not, um, yeah, it's a spec you'd go for. I, hadn't, I haven't seen too many, sort of, well, I haven't seen any <laughs> in sort of black, or sort of like the black 19 inch wheels with, um, with the performance pack, Acroprovage exhaust, leather inside as well. It looks special to me and massive congratulations to the owner for, um, yeah, for a, a great choice in car <laughs> put it that way but um yes thanks so much for watching stay tuned plenty more content it's a very much a community channel that's where i kind of get the content on you know the subscriber who's provided that has helped out of a couple of videos which you lot seem to enjoy and um, so get in touch with me on instagram drop me a message if you're collecting one yeah and um yeah i'll, I'll happily share them and um, i'm sure others will will enjoy seeing them um, yeah your pride and joy <laughs> but listen thanks so much for watching have a fantastic rest of your day and um, rest of your week and I'll see you again next time. Cheers guys.